Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video and shout out to the homie Josh for allowing me to use his account. We could take a look at a 100% in the dupe system physical Lord Slug uh, who is kind of the giant version of the character. There essentially is going to be three Lord Slug cards that we'll be releasing uh, in only a few short hours. There is a tech Lord Slug that is farmable from the story event. And there is a physical Lord Slug. We don't know exactly how we're going to get him. But he's good enough that he should be a summonable card. Uh, featured on a new banner that will drop alongside the story event. And LR Bardock should also be on that banner. Now, again, he's pretty good. Uh, his super attack will be farmable. Because uh, the SSR form is just Lord Slug. The same name as the tech version that you can farm from the story event. And then once you Dokkan Awaken him, he becomes uh, Lord Slug, you know, giant version. Uh, he can transform uh, after he is hit. Now, this Lord Slug, he's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and start doing some attacking with him. Uh, we're going to use him on the movie boss team here. Now, here's the thing about Lord Slug, right? He has now come out in a time. Okay, let's take a look at his super attack. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. I fuck with that. Fuck with it. Okay, little eye laser. Little green eye laser. 700k. That's fine. Ooh! Right off the bat, my boy Lord Slug is like, let's get it, my boy. Okay. All right, Slug. Okay. So, Lord Slug has come out in a time where the movie boss category is a thing. Um, I've talked about it many times uh, over several videos I've made lately that the movie boss category has become one of my, like favorite teams in the game like i really love using the movie boss category team so i like now that we finally get lord slug you know lord slug is a unit that i personally have been waiting for for a long time i know it might seem ridiculous to many like oh you're waiting for lord slug but it's like yes because lord slug is you know the big villain of one of the movies like i want all the characters to be put in the game you know i'm still waiting for garlic jr from the first dragon ball z movie and we're also still waiting for dr willow and dr cochin from the second dragon ball z movie uh also unfortunately for whatever reason they have decided not to release the full super saiyan goku i presume it's because he's good enough that they could make him a dokkan fest exclusive unit and that's probably what we're gonna have happen uh we're gonna see uh, false Super Saiyan Goku maybe be like the movie hero category leader. Uh, I do think that would be a very hype card. Uh, I think it would be really fun to have him introduced. So even though the uh, the that Goku is not released yet, I do think he is going to be released. So uh, real quick, this this slug he gets an attack and defensive buff of 80% off the beginning of the turn, uh, and then he gets an additional 50% attack for five turns after receiving an attack so that'll take him up to like 130 percent attack which is very good uh and then he'll have a medium chance to turn giant as well uh slug also has some pretty good links uh especially like in terms of like a villain team like like i, I actually really like what they did with the slug card like like they made him quite good like i know it, it, it it's ridiculous but he has good links for like villain teams like, you really... Like, look at that. 1.4 million attack. Again, uh, I've said it several times lately as well. That, like, that's kind of the benchmark for... Like, he's doing 1.1 million to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's a big deal. Like, once your attack set goes over a million, that's the sign of a good card, If like, even if they're rainbowed, right? So, like, that was more than enough damage for me to consider this Lord Slug a good card. Now, the only problem is that giant form of his is going to be really annoying. Uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of, like, these transforming characters like that. But, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see, uh, you know, how, how it works. Um, it's a medium chance to transform. So he also will likely not be transforming that often. Uh, so that's good. But uh, this Lord Slug... Well, hmm, I was going to say he could be good for the uh, category on the movie boss characters, but no, not really, because he's a physical typing, and the family Kamehameha Easy 8 is an SCR typing, so I don't think Lord Slug actually would be very good for that. Uh, Alright, so 
this, this will be good. We'll see how well our boy Slug will be able to defend against um, uh, all these Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta attacks. I do think he's going to be able to like completely tank it. Again, he, he's pretty He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Uh, he's also on a couple of categories. Uh, he is a giant category leader, just like AGL Tapion. Uh, he's, oh, 1.7 million. That's very good. Uh, he's also on the uh, Namekian category where he's probably the... Is he the best unit on the Namekian category? I think probably so. Because uh, I, I do think he's definitely better than LR Piccolo. Uh, and then he is also on... Is he on a third? Yeah, the giant category, the movie boss category, as well as the Namekian category. Oh, that was not just super Back to back dodges, Turles. <laughs> yes, Turles, my boy. <laughs> I love it, Turles. That was good shit. That was good shit. Uh, in the meantime, as you guys see on this secondary rotation, uh, I figured you know this is a good chance to kind of run uh, the LR Beerus plus SCR Beerus kind of combo here. You know, have fun with that while we're also testing out uh, Slug again. It's always going to be very very easy to 2.7 damn okay it's always going to be very easy to test out units uh on the movie boss category team because of the turlises all over the place uh under 600,000 attacks so scr beerus must not have gotten his uh 200 uh attack bonus passive uh in that turn right there i would love hey the banner tonight Maybe, you know, I'm, I don't pull LR Bardock, but maybe your boy gets lucky and I manage to pull LR Beerus. That would be pretty good. Uh, I'll see what the banner looks like. What I probably will end up doing is... I'm Oh, we got... Okay, we got the giant transformation. Awesome, awesome. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, here, let me do this because I want to make sure I keep the Turles and the Slugs together. Uh, I, I think I want to get full copies of this Slug. Uh, you know, again, as insane as this might sound to some people, uh, I do actually want to rainbow this guy. So, uh, I'm going to get full copies of him. Uh, and then at that point, I probably will stop summoning. Uh, we'll see what the banner looks like. If it's a double rates banner, uh, like how the featured, uh, like, or excuse me, not featured, but how the GSSR is going to work on the banner. I presume it's going to work in a way where it will be featured, uh, unit GSSR. Like, they're not going to make unfeatured units that could be LR's uh, GSSR. They're not going to do that. So, uh, Slug is probably going to be very, very easy to obtain and rainbow. Uh, yeah, attacks have only 600,000. So, his giant form is certainly not anything, like, crazy powerful. Uh, it, it's just uh, it's something they did need to add into the game, of course. Uh, as soon as, like, a giant category became a thing... It was very, very obvious that uh, Lord Slug was probably not too far away. Like, look at that. Lord Slug in his transformation was not even able to take out the first stage of the Omega event. That just goes to show you right there how fucking absurdly weak the Great Ape style transformation is. Because, again, Lord Slug right there, he had a transformation, you know, a la uh, the Great Apes. Oh, another super attack <laughs> Uh, a la, you know, basically the Great Ape style transformation, not like the Ultra Instant Goku style of transformation or the LR Super Vegeta and Super Gogeta. This style is just, it's so weak. It's so underwhelming. So not good. Not, just not fucking good. That, like, I really, what they gotta do, all they have to do is just make it so that fucking potential system buffs affect the Great Apes. That's it. If the great apes can crit or get additionals, they will be fine. Because a lot of times, you know, a great ape, maybe you're not able to get enough key for them to super, but they can get their additional super instead. Like, that's all it takes. But Akatsuki uh, is very, very stubborn. Uh, and it's clear that they have concerns uh, about the uh, transformation mechanic in that way. But, like, like, they're very hesitant to buff it in any way. Because you're immune to damage, I think. Uh, oh, no. Damn, we're going to get the Dokkan attack with Turles. I, I should have used an item to uh, break up the rotations. Ah, that's a damn shame. That is a damn shame. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is the only problem with fighting Omega is, of course, you know, 
he will destroy your rotations like this. But, alright, I figure we'll go ahead and finish up the Omega fight, and that's probably enough. Uh, from what I've seen, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this Lord Slug. Uh, he, he definitely would probably perform a lot worse on, like, a, uh, a Namekian category team, obviously, which is not, like, a really strong category. Uh, he probably would perform worse on the Giant team as well. Uh, but, you know, Lord Slug does have good links for both the Movie Boss team as well as the Villain team. I might, um... I might try and rainbow him, and then maybe uh, test him out on the villain team on my actual account. We'll see. But he's certainly a unit uh, I wouldn't mind you know, rainbowing, especially when he's doing 700k crits to Omega like that. Very, very, very capable. Uh, and it does look like this is kind of a new mechanic that they are moving forward with as well. Both LR Beerus and Lord Slug have it, where they get hit once, and then they get like a significant buff. So that that is interesting. That appears to be one of the new ways they're going to do this. Also, notice how difficult it is to get LR Beerus' 18 key super. That, that does suck a little bit, but it is what it is. Like, you listen, like the ancient Mayans said, it is what it is. You know, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll just have to accept it with Beerus. At least LR Beerus does heal on his super attacks. Just another uh, powerful factor added to this movie boss team. I th This is actually like... In my top three favorite teams like like I would say without a shadow of a doubt it's right up there uh, this like the pure Saiyan is probably right up there and I don't know what what a third one would be and I, I mean Patara is very fun fusion is very fun of course but like those are just like such easy like answers right like what's your favorite team oh I don't know the Patara team <laughs> you know that's that's what nearly everyone would say but like so my kind of shadow favorite team here definitely the movie boss category team here we'll go ahead and pop an item uh just so that our boy lord slug could end this uh double turless on rotation means slug is going to hit very very hard and he does have a few links that he'll be able to activate uh, alongside agl turless here man i i i remember i thought agl turless was going to be a very good unit when he released but they sure did make him a very good unit he helps out so many of these new units coming out. All right, so there we go, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish it off here. Uh, Lord Slug, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He was able to to maintain that 1 million attack stat basically the whole fight. Of course, I was keeping him alongside Turles, but, you know, Turles, I would say, is, like, essential uh, for a lot of these units, you know, looking very good. So thanks, guys, for watching. And I will catch y'all later on tonight where I will be streaming summons for LR Bardock and Lord Slug. Catch you then.